In this unit, we are going to create a HECRAS project for hydraulic modeling. Before we begin, let's make sure that we have data that we need to get started. So the data set that you need are provided to you. The critical data set that you need is a terrain model and that is named as terrain.wabash or wab underscore tip 30. This is a tip file containing the DEM of the area that we are going to model. And then there is a shape file here that's called clippoly.shp. And this shape file is basically to get the spatial coordinates that we need for our area. Once we have these data, let's go ahead and open HECRAS. So I'm going to open HECRAS by just typing here. And the version that I'm using is HECRAS 5.0.7. Any version after 5.0.3 that has RAS mapper should work for this unit. So go ahead and open HECRAS. Once you open HECRAS, you will see this main interface. So there are multiple tools that are available here, which we will explore as we go along. And you will see right now everything is empty. So the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to create an empty project. And since we will be simulating the hydraulics or hydrodynamics of Wabash River, at the Tipikanu River Confluence, we will name our project as Wabash. So to create a new project, you go to File, New Project, and you will browse to the folder where you want to save your project. So in my case, this is going to be C Class RAS, and I'm going to name my project as Wabash, W-A-B-A-S-H. And HECRAS project files have extension of .prj. And you will see that there is another PRJ file here, and that is a projection file. So ArcGIS projection files for shapefile or any other data sets also have a projection of PRJ. So just make sure that you understand the difference between a HECRAS project file and the projection file that also has .prg extension. So we will go ahead and say OK. And it will ask you whether the unit system will be US customary units. Is that OK? Unless you want to change that, we are just going to go with the default US customary units. Say OK. And as soon as we do that, you will see that now the project text is filled here in the first row. Okay, so let's go ahead and save our project. Next, we are going to create a geometry file. So geometry is where we are going to define the river geometry, the plan form geometry, cross sections and so on. So to create a geometry file, we can go to edit geometry data. So that is one option. The other option is you can just click on this button here that says view or edit geometry data. Once you do that, you will see this empty interface here, which is the geometry window. So before we do anything, let's go ahead and save this geometry data as well. So to save the geometry data, we will go to file, save geometry data as and we will again name this as Wabash. And all geometry files in HECRAS we will get an extension of G and depending on how many geometry files you have this will be either G01, G02, G03 and so on. So let's go ahead and save it, say OK. And then we can close this And as soon as you do that, now you will see that the geometry is also filled in the main interface. So let's go ahead and save. The next thing that we are going to do is we are going to open the RAS mapper. So this is where we will define the spatial coordinates and import the terrain data. So we'll go to RAS mapper. So this is the tool that will open the RAS mapper window. 
So click on that and then you will see the ROS mapper interface. So this interface has three components. So on the left, you see the data layer window. So this is where you will see all the layers that we are going to create for defining the river geometry. This is the display window. This is where we will see the map and all the data that we are going to create. And then on the bottom left, this is called the status window. So this is where you will see any messages that Haycrest will create as we work in, in RAS Mapper. So before we do anything, let's go ahead and define the spatial reference for our map or project. So to do that, we will go to Tools and then say Set Projection for Project. This is what you will see after you select that option. So there are multiple ways you can define the projection. The easiest is to extract it from an existing projection file. So you can see it is asking for ESRI projection file, which also has this .prj extension. And we saw that the clip poly shape file we have that you see here, this has the spatial reference defined. Now you will see wabash.prj. This is the Haycrash project file, so we don't want to select that. We will select clippoly.prj and say open. And then you will see all the details of the spatial reference that we have. So this is going to be NAD1983 FIPS1301 underscore feet. Okay, so this is again US customary unit. So say apply. and say OK. So now that we have the spatial reference defined, we are going to import the terrain data set into our RAS mapper. So to do that, we will again go to Tools and say New Terrain. OK, and this is the New Terrain layer window. And then we will use this plus button here to get the terrain data that we need. So the terrain data that we need is inside the terrain folder that we saw earlier in the unit. And we want the terrain.wab underscore tip 30. So select that and say open. And as soon as you do that, you will see the terrain is now added and Haycrest will create its own terrain and this is the name that will give on to it and we will say create. Already exists, do you want to override? Say yes. And let's go ahead and save our mapper or project and you should see the terrain data that is added to the RAS mapper window and once we have this what we need to do next is we are going to define the geometry that we need for HECRAS which we will do in the next unit. So for now go ahead and save your RAS mapper and the project and we will add layers to define RAS geometry in the next unit.